In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the most important parts of Gig Performer so you can get started using it and making music right away. Brett Pontecorvo here at LiveKeyboardist.com where I help you with the ins and outs of live performance software, with building a stable live keyboard rig and with mastering sound design. If you're new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. All right, so Gig Performer is a great tool for live performance, and it's also a great tool to just make music that reminds you of what you heard on the recording. Even if you're just sitting in your home, it's a great way to use your VSTs, and it's broken up into two main parts. So we've got our rack spaces, which has a front panel that you can design yourself, and a rear panel, which is where you bring in all of your devices that you're gonna use. It's also got the second part is the uh, song mode, and this is where you would build out your set list of performance songs. Now, the rear rack space is made up of blocks, and each one of these blocks represents some sort of a VST. So in this particular patch, I've got the Giant, and the Giant is running through Serum's FX, and then I'm running it into a volume control, which is built into Gig Performer and then out of my audio interface. You can also pull audio in um, from the built-in uh, block here that comes with Gig Performer. Now, if you right mouse click, it's gonna show you all of your different options for blocks. So the ones at the top here are controls that come with Gig Performer, and there aren't too many because it's designed to be used with uh, third-party VSTs. That being said, the ones that are here are really essential um, and do work really well. And below here, you're gonna see a list of all of the VSTs that you are using. Clicking on any of them will bring them in. So if I were to open up a Reason Rack, click on it, it opens it up, you'll see the device pops up here, and it also shows up in uh, the back of my rack space here. Now this could be wired in and set up however you want. Um, e very easy to just drag a connector, and then audio can be routed in a similar fashion. So this is sort of how you build the back end panel. Now, when we flip back to the front end, you'll see in this particular situation, I've actually got a pretty uh, decent patch set up here. I've got reverb, I've got my volume, I've got a meter, an on off button, and filter. So just with these controls, I can actually do a good bit. But when I click this button here, it's gonna show you all of the widgets that are available, and this is sort of how you design your screen. So Gig Performer makes it really easy to do that well. I can drag a single widget on, like that, or if I'm looking for more than one, I can hit, for example, three, and this will drop them all next to each other, or if I hit three two times, it's gonna drop them vertically. Now, once these are brought in, down here at the bottom, you're gonna see some options for mapping them. So the easiest way to get this to control a parameter is to go down here and choose what you want. So uh, for now, let's choose this pad FX. And then if you click learn parameter, it's gonna open up whatever device you selected. And then anything I click on will be immediately controlled. Now you can see I've already got that mapped, um, but that's gonna allow you to uh, have control over any parameter you can click on in Gig Performer. Once that's done, you can go down here to value, set a maximum value, set your scale. Underneath general, you can label it however you would like. Um, I could label this filter, um, and it would display. Then of course, I could resize it. Now in addition to that, Gig Performer makes it really easy to get a good layout going. So once you've got um, everything set up, you can select um, multiple devices and click this button here to make them the same size. Uh, which is really nice. You can also have things uh, distributed um, in an even way if you so choose. If I wanted to distribute these three horizontally, I can just click this button here. Um, and that's gonna do it really even for you. So if you're like me and getting something to look really beautiful is a bit of a challenge, Gig Performer um, makes this totally possible for you. Once you've designed your sounds, you can head over into song mode and create a new song really easily. By default, this is gonna give you three different songs, uh, three different sections rather. And in each section, you can add a different patch if you so choose. So maybe I'll have my dotted eights rack here, my piano patch, 
add here. And I'll do my plugin alliance sound here. So now I've got three different song parts with three different sounds that all blend together, which is a really beautiful thing. Now, if you go into your settings, which you can do pretty quickly, quickly by hitting command comma, you'll see this global MIDI option. And this is gonna allow you to set your up and down controls on a MIDI controller. So I can click on this learn button and I can assign a button to move me up and down through my song sections, which is really great. Now, in addition to that, I can create variations and sort of demo them back and forth. So, for example, maybe I want to change how much drive is on here. If I do that and click save, it's gonna give me this compare button. So here's what I've changed it to, and while I hold this down, it's gonna show me the original. If I don't like it, I click delete, and it goes away. Makes it really uh, versatile. All right, so now that we've seen uh, some of the most important features, I wanna go ahead and build a rack space so I can show you how easy it is to create awesome sounds. If you've had an aha moment and you're brand new to Gig Performer, I want you to let me know below uh, what you're super excited about. And if you've been using it for a while and you're like, but you missed this thing, let me know that down in the bottom as well. I would love to hear from you. So let's create a new rack. I'm gonna do that by hitting the plus and I'm gonna call this Split Synth Lead. And I'm gonna have my left hand playing piano and my right hand playing synth. So I can right mouse click and I'm gonna choose a MIDI input from my key lab. And I'm gonna set my highest key to C2, which I can do by clicking learn and hitting C. Now I'll exit out of this for now. I'm gonna create another one for my right hand. So MIDI input key lab, um, and I'm gonna set my lowest note as that C sharp. Oops. So now I'll have my right hand um, to play synth with, and I'm gonna use these guys uh, to bring my keyboard in. And I like to use the Reason racks a good amount. I also really like using Serum's effects uh, in Gig Performer. Um, but for today, uh, I'm gonna use uh, this piano sound in Radical Piano. I'll exit out of here for now. We're just gonna go MIDI in, just like that and then we're gonna go audio out. And if you hold shift, uh, you'll see that it connects stereo for you. And I've got sound. All right, so I'm gonna do another Reason plugin for my synthesizer. And I'm gonna choose Thor Polyphonic Synthesizer. Um, and I like this Gangsta 3 lead, but I do like to roll some of the top end off. And I'm also gonna go ahead and add some sweeper modulation. So we get a bit of an interesting sound here. We can turn loop on and pull this threshold down. Okay, so now I can connect that up. So this will be my right hand only, MIDI in, and we'll go audio out. So now what I've created is a split. Sounds really cool, it's pretty interesting, but if you noticed, this is still pretty low, and maybe I wanna trigger higher chords with that. So if I open this up here, I can pop over to the transpose, and I'm gonna just drop this up two octaves. Now I have a really playable instrument, but don't forget we have a whole different side. So I can flip over quickly by hitting Command T and enter edit mode. And now maybe I wanna have control over the volume of these guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in two vertical faders like this. Press two one time, let go. Got my faders. And now I can quickly map these by going over here, Reason Rack Plugin, and I'll just click Learn Parameter. I'm gonna map to volume. Now, You'll see I've got that control. And we can go ahead and label this as volume. And I'll go over here. And I'll choose my other reason rack. Learn parameter. I'll choose volume. And again, you'll see control over that. 
can rename this synth volume. So uh, we've got these things that are set up here and I can actually also create variations. So by right mouse clicking here, um, I can create a new variation and perhaps this is gonna be no synth. So this variation will have no synth, but my default will have it. So that means that when I'm here on my... Uh, default sound, I've got that. And as soon as I turn over, no synth sound. So it's just a really easy, really easy way, rather, <laughs> to create different versions of the same sound. If we head back over into song mode, I can swap that out for my split synth lead. Um, and then it will automatically bring that in for you wherever you select it. Um, now, if you got value out of this video, I want you to make sure that you check out how I set up my full live keyboard set right here. Um, and if you're really into Gig Performer, you want to get into the nitty gritty, make sure you check out how to set up your rig manager for all of your MIDI mapping needs. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time at livekeyboardist.com.